Hello, my name is Tom Zuckerfeld from Profilion and today I'm going to talk to you about how to create a graph from data in the CSV file. We will be doing that using a Graphilion dashboard and our target store is a Neo4j Aura which uh, is completely empty in the sense that it doesn't have any constraints or indexes and there are no nodes in the store. The CSV file that we are using uh, looks like this. So we have the first uh, row with the headers. We have uh, about four four columns that define the person and uh, we have an organization. We also have uh, columns that we will use to define the relationship. So the email defines the person and the license plate defines the car and the car is of a certain car brand. And so we have the data here at the top and at the bottom we have the graph that we want to create. Now let's get started. We have a form which is created with a Profilion input view in which we can upload the CSV, set the field separator and also select the target store, which is the Aura store. Once we have imported the data, the configuration allows you to select the data types. So for birth date, we select the date and the same for uh, the since, which is also a date. The rest we will leave to a string for now. When we have done this, we can define the entity types that we want to use. So we are using persons, We have cars, we have organizations, we have cities, we have countries, and we also have the car brand. For each entity type, we set the properties and we indicate from which column they come and we also um, check, uh, put a check mark for, those, for the property that identifies the entity. So here the person is uh, identified by uh, his or her email address. We also do this for the car, in which the license plate is the identifying property. Uh, and of course, I should not forget to check the checkbox. And we have to do this for all the other entity types. When we have defined all the entity types and the properties, we go to the relationships that we want to see in our graph. So we have from person to the city the relationship called born in. So I put a reminder here as a reminder to the graph that we had in mind. We also have from person to organization works for. And for that relationship there is also a date. So these are the relationships defined so far. Uh, if you look at the CSV on row 5 and 6, 
there were also relationships defined in the CSV and we can also add them. So we will have another relationship from organization to city. that defines where the headquarters is. And I have to check this checkbox. Um, and also add uh, property since, because we will reuse the same column, but now to set the date uh, of the creation of the headquarters. And we also have a relationship from city to country uh, located in. So you can see you can uh, create uh, duplicate relationships because it has already an, an is in, but uh, this is just for the example that you can do this. While we were doing this uh, in the front end, in the back end, uh, a mapping is created. So you can see a person with the uh, email as an identifier and also. Um, uh, the relationship pattern. So this is the mapping for the creation of the graph. So now what we can do is to give it a swing. You can have a progress indicator on the left. It creates the indexes based on the ID field. It is merging the nodes, so I'm cleaning up, and then it starts to create the relationships. You can see on the right this is the metagraph that is created dynamically. If we go and look what uh, happened in the graph store, you can see that um, the graph was created. We have some orphan nodes which are not related to anything. So Mary, and also we have a car brand. If we look now at uh, the data, you can see why. Because Mary is not uh, connected to well, it ha anything. It has Volvo, but it doesn't have a license plate. So it doesn't have a, a car related to it. So let's do that. Let's add some uh, a car with a license plate. And also let's add some information about uh, Mary working for a company called Hikma since a certain date. We save the file so we can upload it again. We go back in our wizard to the, uh, to the import view. and we can rerun the process. Okay, the layout of the Metagraph is a little bit different, but the content is the same. And now if I rerun this, you can see that uh, Mary and Volvo are linked through the car. Well, this was uh, what I wanted to share with you about uh, creating a graph from data in a CSV file. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned.